Hey guys, it's Jillian with Fix Your Digestion, The Metabolic Effect. Today what I wanted to do for you is give you a short video on the differences between small intestine bacterial overgrowth, or also called SIBO, and dysbiosis. Dysbiosis refers to an imbalance between your good beneficial bacteria and then harmful potentially pathogenic bacteria. Small intestine bacterial overgrowth, on the other hand, is when bacteria, which could be part of your normal flora, creep up from the large intestine into the small intestine and colonize and set up shop there. So small intestine bacterial overgrowth is an overgrowth of the small intestine with bacteria, whether they're good or harmful. Because they're in the wrong place, they're harmful, meaning they can manifest symptoms. Some of the symptoms of small intestine bacterial overgrowth overlap quite a bit with dysbiosis. Symptoms like gas, bloating, distension, intolerance to carbohydrates, sugars, and probiotic supplementation. With small intestine bacterial overgrowth, however, we also can see some other symptoms like restless leg syndrome, fibromyalgia syndrome, um, and more abdominal pain, okay? The way to further differentiate the two, dysbiosis and small intestine bacterial overgrowth, you could do a couple things. In one way, you could do a complete digestive stool analysis test, a CDSA. What this is, is a stool test, and it lets you know your levels of both harmful and beneficial bacteria. Small intestine bacterial overgrowth is diagnosed usually with a breath test. You can get both of these tests from your doctor. I hope that this was helpful for you, and I'll see you really soon.